Health News, an estimated 8 million people in the United States use smokeless tobacco. Some think it poses fewer risks to their health. The local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has some eye-opening information in today's HealthCast. Christy. That's right. It's long been known, of course, that smokeless tobacco, also known as dip or chew, can increase the risks for oral cancer. But new evidence shows the bacteria in these products can also lead to all kinds of just nasty, nasty infections that you definitely don't want to have. That study found that the bacteria in smokeless tobacco could lead to heart disease, gingivitis. It can cause inflammation in your lungs. In fact, pulmonologist Dr. Sajiv Alea says that should really serve as a wake-up call to a lot of you users. A lot of people falsely believe that smokeless tobacco is safer than uh, smoking cigarettes, but we're learning more and more about the dangers of uh, smokeless tobacco. And also in today's HealthCast, some new guidelines from the American Dental Association on just how often adults need to get dental x-rays. You don't necessarily have to get them every year. According to the ADA, adults who properly care for their teeth and have no symptoms of oral disease or cavities can go two or even three years between x-rays. Aventura periodontist Dr. David Janay says these new recommendations are kind of broad. The ADA has to give guidelines. Yeah. Those guidelines are great for the general population. However, they don't necessarily fit any in particular individual. Hmm. So the, the magic happens in the relationship between the patient and the doctor. It's all about communication. Dr. Janae says patients and doctors need to talk about their concerns and come up with what he calls a co-diagnosis. And though all x-rays admit some radiation, the dose in dental x-rays is relatively low. They allow doctors to see everything from cavities to gum disease and other dental problems not visible to the naked eye. Now I'll be back at 5 o'clock to show you the newest way to fix a broken heart and it will give patients in and out of the hospital a whole lot faster. Victor.